Hello guys, good to see you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Webtecus here. For the longest time I was a Nikon shooter. I love that brand. I love those cameras. I had the DX cameras. That's the APC format the Nikon cameras. And obviously I had the full frame ones. The last one was DA10, the flagship product of the DSLR uh, lineup. Uh, well, actually it wasn't the flagship. The flagship is uh, D5 or was the D5 at the time. Now they got to D6, the sports photography camera. But uh, I love, I love that, I love that camera. It was, uh, it was a great camera, great for photography. I did a lot of projects uh, uh, with with it, and it was big, bulky, just like a true DSLR Nikon camera. It made me look professional. As everybody was looking at me, ask me questions, and give me jobs just because of it. I'm not kidding. So it was a great uh, visual impact camera but was lacking big time when it came to video. So when I decided to transition to this video making thing, obviously I had to jump ship to Panasonic and get my beloved GH5, the one that I'm recording myself with. And um, since that time, I haven't been talking about uh, Nikon just for this reason. I didn't feel like they came up with anything that was groundbreaking worth talking about. Obviously, they came up with their mirrorless cameras just, in my humble opinion, to catch up with Sony and Canon, but was nothing that had some wow factor in it, except the fact that they came up with a new uh, uh, lens mount system, the Z mount. However, I didn't feel like that was, that was, that had the right or the proper wow factor, the one that we got, got used um, uh, to be associated with Nikon because Nikon over the years they came up with some some revolutionary stuff however uh, we just got an announcement a de development announcement uh, in the last uh, few hours that they are gonna actually make that Z9 camera to go right after the Canon EOS R1 and Sony Alpha 1 is gonna be the flagship camera of Nikon the replacement of the D6 and this camera, although we didn't get much along with this uh, development announcement, we got some information. Uh, we got uh, the, uh, this is official uh, announcement that they're gonna have a stack CMOS sensor and I'm gonna talk about this a little bit uh, further on. They're gonna have obviously 8K video capability because if it's gonna be a direct competitor to the EOS R1 and Sony Alpha 1, it does have to have 8K capability and obviously a new um, a processor because it's going to be a totally different volume of data to handle and we'll have some other video um, uh, specifications that supposed to be wow we didn't get much other than that obviously we had a bunch of rumors that they were floating over the internet and social media or <laughs> the social media they were floating over the rumor sites and social media for the past few months i'm gonna go very quick over them to see what people uh, have been rumoring about this Z9. Obviously we'll have the 8K 30p and the 4K 120p, 60p and 30p capability. New XSpeed processor designed for 8K video. And regarding that um, CMOS stack sensor, it could be a 45, 46 megapixels, 50 megapixel or a 60 megapixel sensor. I just want to labor it a little bit here because if they want to go big, they have to go at least 50 megapixels. That's uh, how many pixels uh, we have on that Sony Alpha 1 sensor. That will put them a little bit below the 85 rumored megapixel sensor that will equip the EOS R1. However, I think it's plenty enough uh, for, for now. <laughs> Uh, it does have uh, that integrated grip handle. We had only one picture of uh, Z9 and obviously it's exactly a D6 with a mirrorless system in it. Uh, we don't expect anything more, but the good thing is that we saw, you could see in that picture that it has some buttons on that uh, extension uh, or an extended or extended grip, uh, whatever you want to call it. That was one thing that bothered me a lot. Why in the world would you waste space having that extension and not putting some buttons, at least for the for the visual wow factor, I would say. <laughs> okay, what else? So, and it will cost, no shocking in this department, between $6,000 and $7,000. Probably this camera will get launched sometime in the fall of 2021 of this year. 
because uh, due to the COVID pandemic, most of the media shows and the photography shows and events and all that, they got postponed for the fall. And if any man manufacturer wants to make a big uh, splash and impression with their uh, new release products, obviously they have to do it to, uh, during these media shows. So we're gonna have a pretty quiet summer but the fall is gonna get pretty hot. We're gonna have an Indian summer, I'm telling you guys. We got all these cameras that uh, they're gonna be released, um, except the Sony Alpha 1 that got released last month. Sony's ahead of the game a little bit, but uh, uh, except that, we're gonna have all these cameras uh, being released in the fall. So uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get more about the Z9 in the upcoming weeks and months. I'm gonna keep you guys posted because I like surfing the web, looking for rumors, leaks and all that. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button if you wanna get notified. I'm running out of breath because I'm gonna upload as fast as I can. Good to see you guys. Mm -hmm.